Baby Explorer. Water by Carol Lawrence. Pictures by Francesco Zito. Look, raindrops are racing down the window. Listen, the water gurgles and splashes. If you were outside, you'd get wet. We can feel and hear water, but it doesn't have any taste, smell, or color. We need it to live. What is water? Water can be a liquid, or it can be steam. Don't touch, it's very hot. Water can be a solid when it freezes and turns to ice. Water covers most of the earth, just like it did when dinosaurs were alive. Water is also in our bodies. It's in our blood, and it helps protect our insides. Water is in the oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, swamps, and streams. And water is always moving. The sun heats the land, the air, and the water. The land, air, and water soak up that heat and hold on to it as energy or power. When the always moving water goes around the world, it carries this heat energy. Water heats the land and air in winter and cools them in the summer. Water that is like mist rises into the air. It forms into tiny droplets in clouds. When the clouds meet cool air over land, the water falls back down as rain snow, or sleet. This happens over and over and over again over a long time. It's called the water cycle. Some rain runs under the ground. It gets trapped between the rocks. This rain is called groundwater. Most of the water runs back to the oceans and seas. It carries some salt from the rocks and soil with it. This salt stays in the water. Almost all our water on Earth is salt water. We need to take care of our fresh water because it's the only water we can drink. Almost all our fresh water is in the ice at the South Pole. This is the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for anyone to live here, but some people go to study it. Some animals can live in this cold. They have thick coats or feathers that help them stay warm. Some kinds of seals, penguins, and birds live here. Look, the rain has stopped. Quick, you can splash in the puddles. The end. <laughs>